Okay, for our opening, Ms. Bolin is going to go over how to find the area of these squares. Well, they sort of look like squares. When you find the area of something, you think length times width. So length times width is multiplying, right? So we're gonna multiply all of these. And when we multiply these, we are going to take these and we're gonna bring them down. So two square roots of five times the square root of 10. Okay. We wanna look at those closely because we can multiply them because the radicals, with radicals, you can multiply, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes. Yes. You're muted. Okay, so <clears throat> what can I multiply? The two radicals. The two radicals, perfect. So the two radicals are gonna give me, because they're kind of like, like terms, right? That's gonna give me two square roots of 50. Well, then I look at this and say, oh, is this simplified? Is it simplified? No. 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 And question, if this were an addition or subtraction sign, would I be able to add or subtract them? No. 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 So this is not simplified yet, but I can simplify it, right? Uh-huh. So I'm going to simplify and I can break it down into what two numbers? 10 and 5. 10 and 5. 10 and 5. Perfect. You guys are awesome. All right. 10 and 5. Well, one of those is simplified. So already so we don't have to do anything with it right so i'm gonna circle it because it's prime you can't break it down anymore then we have 10 but we can break it down to two and five and then we circle all these prime numbers okay our next step is to look for what um pairs dates the dates are the pairs remember i told you that every pair is basically going on a date. We can't see the bottom. Okay, every pair is going on a date. My fives get to go on a date, so they leave the square root house, or the radical house, and they get to go out. Okay, all, and then I have a little date here that has no, nobody to match with. So it stays as a radicand, that's what it's called, inside the house. And some people would think that you were finished, but my smart math gurus know we're not finished because of why? We have to bring the coefficient down. You have to bring the coefficient down. And multiply. So the coefficient was already up here, okay? The whole time, we just would, we would just took this, we drug it over here, we drug it over here, and then we simplified this, but we have not yet drug it down here. So when we drag it down here, we still have the coefficient of two. That coefficient's important because that creates <clears throat> the coefficient of five times two creates 10 square roots of two. Now, does that, does that seem like a perfect square whole number to you guys? No. No. No, right? Definitely not. So let's come over here, try the next one. All right. For my person who asked about the coefficient before and they're like, okay, well, where did the two come from? Notice here I have a coefficient of two. What about here? Do I have a coefficient? Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Coefficient of yes. two. Yep. 
So I am going to take these and I'm length times width. I'm going to multiply the length times the width. Okay. So when I multiply the, the length times the width, I am going to make this darker. I'm multiplying the length times the width. All right. I can multiply the ones that are alike. And these are alike because why? They're radicans. This, they're radicals. Good. Radicals. Mm -hmm. so if it was a five and a five, uh, like, then they would have the same radicam, but it's not. So they're the same radicals. So oh. five times 20. 100. 100. Square root of 100. What do I do with this two? Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Good. So then I have two square roots of 100. Do I need to break down 100? No. 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 Why do I not need to break down 100? Because it's a perfect, perfect square, square root. root. Because it's a perfect square root. And I know the square root of 100 is 10. 10. Good job. But I'm going to replace it with parentheses because what needs to come down? The two. The coefficient. The coefficient. Good job. Use your vocabulary. And this becomes 20. 20. 20. Does this mean it's perfect? Yes. 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 That's awesome, right? Mm -hmm. I got rid of the radical. You would have thought up here, like, I would still have a radical, but I don't. So that's awesome. So the next part, I know that we found one answer, but sometimes you guys have those common assessments or you have those, um, you know, you remember milestones and EOCs and, of course, tests. Sometimes you have those questions that are like, pick which ones have the perfect square root or perfect side lengths or something like that. And then you would have to pick more than one answer, right? Mm -hmm. So you always want to make sure that you check. So we're going to check to see if this is going to give us another perfect square. So let's do four times the square root of three times 12. Okay, I can multiply four and three because why? Why can I multiply four and three? Or the radicand of four and three? I do not know. They're the same what? Value. They're the same what? Value. Four and three are not the same value. Factor. Guys, look at four and three. They're a factor of 12? Yes. So we can do it two ways. We can either factor it first, or you can notice that. Can I multiply these two together? Yes. Why? Because you would get 12. And because they're the same, the radicals you can multiply together. And it doesn't matter that they're the same. So I have 3 times 12, which is the square root of 36. And then I bring down the coefficient of 36. What is the square root of 36? 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. And then 4 times... Six. 24. 24. 24. 24. Are we happy? Yes. Yes. Yes, we got a whole number, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Good job, guys. Good job. You're doing awesome with that. A lot of the times they'll have um, these problems that are set up like the squares, and they're like, oh, let's, let's mix it up and have some geometry in it. 
But as long as you keep in your head length, like I know length times width. I've known length times width since elementary school. Then you'll be good. Okay. Okay. So I'm glad that you guys got that. And most of you were able to understand that the yellow and the orange boxes were the, were the boxes that we needed to um, consider it being a perfect square. So mm. now we're going to move on to something that we took notes over yesterday. And it's one of my favorite things to do. Um, and it's dividing radicals. If you watched my dividing radicals video, then you were awesome and thank you very much. There is a specific word when dividing radicals that you use to describe um, dividing the radical. Does anybody know what that word is? Rationalize. Who said that? Nathaniel. Good job, sweetheart. Bonus points for Nathaniel. That's awesome. Do you remember what rationalize means? Um, uh, you break it down, sort of. We're breaking it down? Okay. Kind of, right? Yeah. Okay, so there's a difference, which I would love to show you guys. Um, and I would love for you guys to um, write down dividing radicals for me. Okay, the rule here, and I'm gonna kind of scoot this over. I think I know. I'm going to kind of scoot this over. And the rule here is that when you divide radicals, you're going to put rule. And did somebody want to say the rule? Um, I don't know. Ooh. You can only multiply radicals by other radicals. Okay, but we're dividing. Yeah. Oh. I Okay, so something that's super important that I would love for you guys to write down is the rule. You uh -oh. cannot have Nothing. a radical in the denominator. Okay. This mm -hmm. is an example. If you have the square root of 10 and the square root of 2, some people would think, ooh, they're both square roots. So I can do the square root of 10 divided by the square root of two. And that is not true, okay? When this happens, do you guys know the denominator is the one at the bottom? Mm -hmm. yes. 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 What's yes. the top one called? Numerator. 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 So it's okay to have Terminator. radicals or square roots up here. It's not okay to have them down here. Okay? Mm -hmm. When you have them down here, to make this a non-radical, we're going to say non-radical, to make it a non-radical, you're going to multiply itself by itself. Okay? Yep. Because watch, you're going to take this. Tell me what this radical is. Two. You can't just say two. Um, square root of two. Square root. square root of two. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to 
New to the top. New to the top. When I do this, when you multiply by itself, multiply the Can you please write this down for me? Radical, when you multiply the radical and the denominator, by the bottom and top, it gets rid of the radical at the bottom. So I probably should move this closer to you guys and lower, right? <laughs> So when I multiply, when I multiply the radical, which is the square root of two, in the denominator by the bottom and top, keywords, right? It gets rid of the radical at the bottom. And that's the whole point because what is the rule? What did I tell you guys the rule was? You cannot, have, you cannot have a radical in the denominator. You cannot have a radical in the denominator. Can the radical be at the bottom? No. Oh. No. Oh. Can the radical be at the bottom like this? And these are just two examples. You guys don't have to write these down for me. I'm going to show you why this works, which is kind of a cool trick. <clears throat> okay. So is this allowed? No. Oh. Your brains think like, ooh, 36 divided by four. I got this. But it can't happen. It cannot happen because you cannot divide the radicals Question. you cannot divide the radicals this is what you can do how do i get this square root of four to be a whole number multiply it by itself multiply who said that dylan dylan why does multiplying a square root by itself Give us a whole number. What's the square root? Look, four times four is the square root of 16. What is the square root of 16? Four. 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 Do you see that? Uh-huh. It's like, basically, you just canceled the whole thing out. And that's what happens every single time it is a perfect square root. That's the point of rationalizing it. Rationalizing it, if you take the square root at the bottom, right, and you multiply by itself, 16, that's gonna give me a huge large number. What's that gonna, what's that gonna give me? Who can get it faster than me? 256. Damn. So this will give me 256, right? And then I would have the, I would just bring over the 12 and multiply it. And then I would have some big, 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 big number. Okay. Mm -hmm. That kind of looks like a radical sign. No more radical. I would have a big number and I'd multiply it by 12. And then up here, I would have a 12. Well, is this and this a whole number? Is 12 and 12, 12 on the top, 12 on the bottom, are they both whole numbers? Yes. Yes. 
So I can cancel and that could be one over 256, right? Mm -hmm. Up here, when I had this square root of 36 that I should have brought over, what's the square root of 36? Six. 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 So my answer would be six over four. Or you could reduce it to three over two, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, perfect. So you guys know the purpose of it, right? The purpose of rationalizing is to multiply it by itself to get what to go away. What do we want to go away? The radical. The yeah. radical at the bottom. bottom. Bottom, good. Good, I have some smart kids. Okay, so let, let's look at this again. So did we all write the notes and stuff? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah. I'm not done yet. Oh, please. All right, let me try to set this up for you. Okay, so I put a happy face up here because it, yep, we're all good. Let me multiply it right there. But when we multi we can't have a radical down here. So I put some notes right there. So this is what I'm gonna do. What is the square root of 10 times the square root of two? 20. Can't hear you, baby. 20. 20. And don't forget the square root sign, 20. And what is this? Four. Okay, we start to think four, like when you'll start to just say two because you're like, okay, the point of doing that is to get away the radical and the square root of two times the square root of two, yeah, that's gonna give me four, which equals two. And then you just put the two right there. Yep. Got it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So I'm gonna rewrite this since you guys are doing so awesome. That's not my answer yet. I'm just gonna rewrite it. Okay, so I'm just gonna rewrite it. Okay, so when I rewrite this, okay, what do you see? What do you notice? 20. Um, divided by two. Square root of 20 divided by two. Yes, right? Mm -hmm. okay, but you guys have to be louder because it, it's really hard to hear you. Oh, okay. So what do you notice? Um, the square root of 20 divided by two. Yes, can I divide those? Yes. Yes. No. What? Um, just like multiplication. Okay, you need to write yourself a note. Cannot oh, not radical. Dang. divide Whole numbers. A radical by a whole oh, I'm so tired. number. And I'm sorry, this is kind of sideways, guys. Can you guys write that down for me? Cannot divide, yeah. cannot divide a radical by a whole number. You guys got that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if we cannot divide it by the whole number, what would we do to simplify it? Um, factorize. What is it called? Factorize. I couldn't hear what you said. Factorize. Yeah, well, that makes sense. You can say simplify or factorize, yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's do, and then sometimes when I have problems like this, I factor this way because it makes it easier and less space. So I have 10 and two, and then five and two. What can I circle? The twos. Twos and the five. 
the twos and the five because they're all prime, right? Oh my name. Yes. Okay. The point of factoring is to find the what? The pair. The pair or the dates. Good. So I have a date of what? Two. Two. Two that I can bring out. And who has no date? Five. 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 Good. Okay, so two has no date. Or I'm sorry, two has a uh -huh. date. It comes out. We only write one of them, correct? Mm -hmm. so, and we still have this two. Do we we do we have two whole numbers that we can divide? Yes. Yes. What happens if you have like something like if Miss Bullen makes up five divided by five? What is what's that answer? One. 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 So when I'm looking at this, to me it's a lot simplified. I could put a one and a one, but then that would kind of be pointless, right? Anytime you have the yeah. same thing over the same thing, you just say, bye bye. Get mm -hmm. rid of it. Because two divided by two is one, and your answer is the square root of five. 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 Do you guys understand that? Yes. 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 So we just need to make sure that if there is a radical in the denominator, that we multiply by what? Itself. Itself. Itself to the top and to the bottom. bottom. And then we still had a square root at the top, but can we take, can we take the square root at the top and divide by a whole number? No. 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 So then what do you do with the square root at the top? Factor and simplify. Factor and simplify it. Good. Then you can see if you can divide it by something. Okay? You have to keep in mind, can you cannot divide the you cannot divide the radical by a whole number. That doesn't work. Okay? So I hope you understood that part. Did I explain it in an easy way? Yes. Yes. Yes? Yes. Good. Yes. Okay, so I want to show you something that I made for you. And it, it's kind of neat. So I'm going to show you. Let's look. Let's look at what Miss Bolin made for you. Oh, here it is. Okay, can you guys see it? No. no. Do you see my agenda page? No. no. Not yet? Okay. No. Let's see. Now, do you see my agenda page? No. Yes. Now I do. Yeah. You do? Yes. Okay, perfect. So what I want for you guys to do is, because today is Thursday, um, I made you guys this little practicing radicals activity, and I thought it was so much better than actually just doing a worksheet or doing USA test prep. So I'll show you what I made you. So you would click on it. So I need for all of you guys to click on it. Nearpod. Uh-huh. Oh, that. And it should come up like this. What do you think we're going to do with this? Simplify. We're gonna simplify, and what's the other special word that we learned? Rationalize. 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 Can all of you say it with me? Rationalize. Good job, guys. Okay, so Miss Bolin did one problem for you. 
which one of you can in the chat box tell me who tell me which one it is Can you guys still see it? Mm hmm Nope, not yet. Remember, to be a pair, you gotta give me two numbers, guys. You can't just give me the answer. 4F. Can't tell me, you gotta oh. type it in the chat box. Okay, we said four. I didn't do 4F. Dang. Did you guys write down my example? Yes. Okay, who got it? Lucy and Dylan and hold on. My first two people were Carla, Lucy, and Jenny, and Dylan. Extra point. Good job. So with this, what I want you guys to go through and do is you're going to have to type your name. Did it ask you to type your name in it? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. So you guys are gonna work these out and you're going to go, let's see. My mouse is somewhere that I don't know where it is. Okay, let's go over here. Okay, so the, what I did on the, the board guys is I had this problem that we did, remember? And then what answer did we come up with? Five. Screw it with five. Five. And watch. Woohoo! We got it right. So you guys are going to look at the numbers and you're going to solve them. And do you, and you're gonna solve them and then you're gonna match them with the answers. Look at D. Do you have to rationalize the denominator for D? Is there a square root at the bottom? No. No, there's no square root at the bottom, so you don't have to rationalize it. Okay. Um, but I do want to show you. Can you still see me and my board? Yes. Okay, perfect. I do want to show you something that may confuse you. Sometimes the radicals are written like this, and Miss Boland does not like it but they are. Sometimes they're written like this. Can anybody tell me what that means? The square root of nine over four. It means that both of these have square roots. Uh -huh. So that means that the square root is for that and the square root is for that. You guys got that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to leave you guys to do your Nearpod. And because I'm super excited to see what scores you get. And then um, at the bot, like for homework, there's this um, little perimeter problem that I want you to turn into your assignment section. And then we are done for today. Okay, just finish your Nearpod and then make sure that you work on your homework. But thanks for doing an awesome job today, guys. Okay. All right, you guys have a great rest of your day, okay? Bye. All right, bye guys. Bye. bye. Get your mask on so we can go get lunch real quick. Mommy. I'm get back. your last mask on so we can go. Gonna okay. Get Stop back. asking me. Hurry up. We got to go. Get your mask on, Maddox. Get your mask on, Maddox.
Get your mask on, Maddox. Can you tell him? We're going to go get the lunch. We have to go pick it up. Huh? I can't carry it by myself, and you already know that. All right, come on, let's go. Find one. There's one in this room. Search. Yeah, your masks. Please. And you can wear whatever one you want. Why is it on your arm and down, Noah? If you it was charging. Just say, don't leave your computer on the ground. That's all you got to say to her. No, because it was charging and I was sitting on the floor with it watching YouTube. Yeah, I don't want you guys on YouTube. Wow. And I haven't been able to check your work yet. Because your work ethic, like, I don't, like, if that work's not done, we're not going to Grammy. If, like, work, if I go through and the work is not done, we will not go to Grammy and you Papa's. Can touch it right now. When we come back with this food, you are going to have to.